Jackie the Joke Man back from oh, his illness. He's recovered? Yes, he was very sick, Robin. He was so sick yesterday he couldn't even use the phone. His I'm wife had to call in for him. Right. I'm surprised he's back today. Is that okay that she called? <laughs> Everyone was goofing on you. i got to tell you. Everyone goes, Jackie's wife calls in for him like he's a, like a schoolboy. Right. He's so sick he can't call in himself. Hello, Jackie won't be coming in today. Jackie can't come in today. <laughs> you are a little boy. I am. I am a little boy. I thought, my goodness, he must be dying. He can't even use the phone. I could have called up and said, I can't come in. Then he would have recorded it and used it for the rest of my life. So I'm not going to win him either way. I <laughs> 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 I wish I had to come in and... Uh, really really like this. This. Well, what happened is he ran himself down in Los Angeles. But the funniest Jackie yeah, story is... I got the flu. Listen Christ to this. Sake. Listen to this. He ran himself down in Los Angeles, drinking and partying. Yeah. And then he co he says to me, Yeah, I got sick. I think Nancy gave it yeah, to me. Yeah, it's with Nancy for 10 minutes. <laughs> she made him sick. It's her fault. It's her fault. Jackie had the flu. I came home and caught the flu. All right. Could not, it had nothing to do with the fact that we were partying in L.A. and drinking and, and staying up late every night. Yeah, of course. And you went home yesterday and you got some sleep finally. Now you're back. Now you're back. Oh. He was in a puddle of sweat. I know I went through that a couple of weeks ago every night with the sweats. Yeah. Of course, I was here every day. No, well, he couldn't get here. He was sick. Oh. <laughs> Nancy, you call in for me. Oh, Nancy, I don't think I can go to work for me. Well, anyway, Jackie the Jokeman is back. Everybody's here. Everybody's ready to party. I really believe it was catching up on his sleep from the trip to Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. Of course. What do I know? <laughs> All I know is Jackie licked the puddle of sweat and got drunk. <laughs> and I'm going to throw up. That's right, they bottled it. <laughs> Whatever sweat he had, they bottled it. Oh. <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> and, uh, dude, we changed around that whole screening of Hannibal for you, and then you weren't even there. Everybody was cursing you out for that, too. That should be some kind of indication how sick I was. Because a bunch of people were like, damn, we could have done it on Friday, but we changed it for Jackie. Yeah. and All for Jackie. You yeah. have no idea how badly I wanted to be here and there. So many people couldn't make it. Shut up! I was lying in a puddle of sweat. Thuttering John's like, God damn, Jackie. It's all him 50 he can go to the frickin' movie. I wanted to go to the movie, so was it good? Well, it was a mixed reviews in there. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I don't know. You liked it, right, Robin? No, I didn't think it was wholly successful as a movie. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Entertaining, though. Yeah. Right. Kept us, uh, kept us there for two hours, and everyone kept their mouth shut. Yeah. That's a miracle in quiet. our group. Complete yeah. quiet. Complete quiet. Yeah. Complete quiet. That's a review right there. Yeah. I don't know. It, 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 what, what, you know, it's a funny thing with Hannibal. I, I, after seeing Silence of the Lambs, I always dreamt of a sequel. Mm -hmm. Because I like Silence of the Lambs. It's one of my favorite movies. And if I had to write the sequel, you know, I don't want to play screenwriter here, but since I am an executive producer of television and movies... You must know something. I know something. <laughs> but the way I would have done it, I would have learned from the example of uh, Godfather 2. You see, in... In Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal was a character that you saw occasionally. Right. He wasn't the whole movie, and the character of Hannibal carrying the movie ended up being like, you know, it ended, actually Ridley Scott's the director of Alien, and he directed Hannibal. And in Hannibal, Hannibal becomes the alien. In other words, he's, he's such a superman that he can kill anybody and, you know, get anybody. But he's like and, a shadowy figure. He shouldn't be there all the time. Yeah. And and the way I would have done it was I would have had another story going on simultaneously, and that story would have been to go back to Hannibal as a young child. Well, you didn't read the book, did you? No. But that's exactly what the book does. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. No, I never read the book. Yeah. And what I would have done, like Godfather 2, which was one of my favorite movies, was switch back and forth between, you know, so that you would have spent time with young Hannibal and then maybe understood whatever he did in the... That's exactly what the book is about. Oh, that's about. funny. What made Hannibal no. Hannibal? Oh. That's what the book that is. It's so part funny because I, I was taught, I, was, I called my uh, kids last night, they were saying, well, what did you think of the movie? And I said, well, I would have spent time on him as a kid or a younger guy, maybe a psychological kind of thriller that way. 
Yeah. So he would have experienced his first. There was a whole thing about him and his sister. And it ran and through the whole book. to him and Clarice. Oh. And so none of that is there. Oh, I you see. have no idea why he's up to what he's doing. Oh, up to. that's too bad. All right. Well, they blow it. Yep. Yep. But, uh, no, because you asked me what I thought of the movie, and I, and I said uh, I, I didn't think it worked, and then you laughed and ran away. But I thought, I said, <laughs> that's why I, I, I didn't have time to talk. We were oh. late at night, and oh. I had to go home and go to sleep so I could be up for today. Oh, oh, oh. But I said, you know, I, you know, I like the character, so, you know, I was sitting there enjoying it for the fact that I'm watching these characters again. <laughs> but I was like, man, this is not working, and I can't imagine anybody who didn't read the book liking this at all. Oh. Because oh, everyone told me that you loved it. No. Oh, no, all right. No, that you were getting a bad rap as you left. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I said she loved it. <laughs> no, no. All right. Anyway, um, but it was, I don't know, I, I kind of sat there riveted, I, so I can't say I hated it. for something to happen that yeah. really didn't happen. Right. I can't believe they didn't include the stuff about his child. None it of it. so big in the book. None of it. Yeah. It wasn't there. That's the way I would have done the screenplay. I would have liked I would have started out with a young kid and, and then switched back and forth to the present. But that was the problem. It was like too much mm. Hannibal Lecter. Well, yeah. The first one, he was only at like 15 minutes. Mm. That's right. And he had a strong presence because he had a whole other story going on about this other, other killer. And this way, you could have had a whole other story about another killer, but it would have been him as a young kid. Or as a, I, I don't know at what point he started killing. All right. Anyway, uh, that's the story on that. That's the scoop. So that's me playing screenwriter. What do I know? Well, I said, you know, this guy filmed a book. He didn't make a movie. Right. You know, it's just, it's terrible in that sense. It just doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't do anything. It just goes on and on and on with the same thing. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, uh, how was Hannibal, by the way? Yeah, how was it? We did a whole rap on it. Oh, I didn't hear it, but I'm just, you know, because I... Where were you? I couldn't go Thursday. I know Jackie no, made No, I don't mean show. where were you. Now, where were, were you talking. when we were talking about it? I was a little late. Yeah, oh, you were a little late. Oh. Oh. You missed a little of the show. You want me to repeat the show no, for you? No, I'm sorry. Oh. I, I thought I was going to bring him up because I'm still mad Jackie for, for making the screen. That yeah, we went through him. all of that. Uh, we went through all of that. Well, you're on time. You would have heard it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So, sorry to have to uh, repeat How the show for you. How many days since his last lateness? It's been two, a while. Two, two, three months? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Like I had that new setup that I told you about. He was due one. I have a new setup now. What is it? Where I have like I have a little quiet alarm in the room because now I'm sleeping with Greta. And you got to hear this. He moved into the city. His wife just had a baby. Then they got the other kid. They got one room. Yeah. One room. No, there's there's a there's bedroom. One bedroom. It's one bedroom. So the, his daughter Greta has the bedroom. He's got a curtain hanging up in the middle. You walk into the apartment as soon as you open the door. There's a curtain. Well, it sounds like there's more than one curtain though. No, no. there's one curtain. There's one. It curtain. separates the well, one big room. Well, where's yeah. the baby? The baby's in front of the curtain. Yeah. And no, she's John. behind the curtain. Oh, she's behind the she, curtain. Uh, Howard, the baby's behind the curtain <laughs> with my wife in the in, in our bed. You is, it a, is, it a, is it a thick curtain? Like it's a, a sheet. It's a sheet. Oh. It's a sheet oh. hanging. Howard, you know what it reminds me of? What? In Godfather 2, you know, when uh, when when the Corleones have the two babies in right, that little right. tenement. Yeah. <laughs> no, Joan, why did you leave a four-bedroom house to go to this? I didn't leave. I still have Because his wife thinks she's so hip. they got to have a Manhattan place. And his wife's like a perfume manufacturer now. <laughs> And I went on her website to read it, and it says, she's a hip young housewife. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah, she's yeah. hip, no. she, she, she thinks she's hip. You don't think she's hip? I don't know. What, we, what makes her hip? What is that? She's I mean, cool. you can't she's designate yourself Hey, she goes to scores. She, <laughs> she's a hip young housewife. Because she's a hip young housewife, she couldn't fit in with the other housewives out on Long Island because she's hip and they're not. Oh, God. So that's that's what it was. That's what she oh. told me. <laughs> she's hip and they're not. Oh, she didn't fit in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, because she's so hip. She's not said that yeah and she didn't write that she didn't write that but she told me that she didn't write it it's on her website yeah, yeah but she didn't write it what's it there what were the other housewives doing that she couldn't finish oh well <laughs> no because she's hip out there and you know you know how hip she is and she's an actress right. she, she wasn't into the junior league <laughs> <laughs> and you know she'd she'd die out there because of all her creativity she's trying uh -huh. to sell perfume that's yeah. that's all no i know that yeah. but i'm saying she couldn't i'm telling you why she had to move out of this well, out of I long guess, island uh, the housewives on long island won't be buying the perfume <laughs> No, because she's hip. <laughs> it's for hip young people. So you think I should take the hip out of that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, like, she's a hip young housewife. <laughs> and uh, the funny thing is that, you know, plus, plus who wants to buy something from somebody in their kitchen in a hip young housewife? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. You love it. It's if better to buy from a woman who lives in a tenement. Yeah. <laughs> if you call yourself hip, you ain't. And then You never designate yourself hip. Well, because she's hip... Uh, the housewives on Long Island, you know, can't relate to her, right. and she can't relate you know, to she them. She never said this. this she told is, me. 
Oh, well, get that. She has, she, you know, because she's hip. She's got plenty of friends in Long Island. No, but but she's more of a city girl because she's hip. Such a schmuck. You took one line out of the website. No, and no, now, no, no. And, no. Then, and that made a part no, of everything. She, no, she told me when I was oh, out on Long Island. She said she was hip. No, Honestly, she didn't say she okay. was hip. She said she kind of like him. you know she's uh, she doesn't fit in because she's so wild. You well, know, she kind of said that. Well, that town is hard to get into the yeah. the, the uh, clicks. There's right. a lot of clicks in that right. town, and it is very hard to get and into. She's kind of young and hip, and she, you know she didn't say that, but I'm saying to you, she's young and hip. Is it Nancy Sirianni hip? No. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's like she's, she's, yeah, she's a, but she's on the road a lot. <laughs> yeah, but she's, she's, she's very ba very How busy it? with her band. Someone I know in Babel said to me that I am I'm I'm not country folk. I'm city folk. Right. Exactly. And that you know, that was the idea I got from his wife. Wait, aren't you from Plainview? Yeah, I'm playing Plain Edge, but suddenly I'm not country folk. Out in Bayville, yeah. I'm city folk. Yeah, Good so his Lord, wife. You know, Bayville is like in trouble. <laughs> so they had to move into the city. <laughs> if John is too sophisticated yeah. for Bayville, yeah, so they had to move into the city because you know him and his wife are hip. <laughs> and they're they're city folk. You know that's what they mean. But your wife explained this to me. I'm not saying something that she didn't tell me. You're city folk too. There you go. But I'm not moving out to Bayville. So anyway. Jeez. So anyway. Uh, he now moves into an apartment where they got a curtain. Why couldn't he get a bigger apartment? It's not even a curtain, it's a sheet. Well, why? He has no money. Oh, a bigger apartment. It's a bigger apartment. Jeez, what do you think? I'm... It's all tied up in stocks. Right. Uh. So he got the apartment. They all moved. It's him, the wife, the two kids. Then he sometimes he's got his in-laws over. Yeah, he waited yeah. until he made sure he, his wife was pregnant before he I got, got a nanny. Got a nanny. That Howard. sleeps over. That's nice a week. You got a nanny who sleeps over? Really? <laughs> Where is she sleeping? The whole way. <laughs> Where does she sleep? She sleeps in the room with Greta. Oh, really? And then Where I, are you sleeping there? No, then I sleep on the sofa because then I can't handle my snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the sofa? I mean, so how far away could you be that she Five can't... Five feet. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, she can't handle your snoring, but you're right in the room yeah, anyway. I have my head's on the... But you know what? The sheet separates the noise. It blocks the snoring. <laughs> well, I like John's story that he was telling us the other day that he, his bathroom uh, door doesn't have a lock on it. Yeah. He, had to go, he has nowhere to go pleasure himself. So he's in his bathroom with one hand on the door <laughs> and one hand taking care of business. Yeah. And then I'm, and then I'm on Luvox and I'm drinking and, and, I, and, 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 you know, and I can't complete. So I mean, they're working out pretty much in there. <laughs> Sweat pouring from my forehead. <laughs> so you try to pleasure yourself. You go in the bathroom. There's no lock on the door. Yeah. And the kid's trying to get in. But no, they, oh, yeah, like the other day, I was in a bathtub and the kid is, is coming in, and then I and so I can't even get started. Right. Because oh. I'm, I'm always on watch. <laughs> Great life. <laughs> Wonderful life. Oh, one bathroom you couldn't wait. in this whole place, right? Yeah, he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait. Had to have that family. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 want, I want a lot of kids. I still think want a lot of kids. Well, that, I'm, uh... I'm starting to try and talk my wife into having another. Really? Yeah, but that would mean I had to, have to get a bigger place. But. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, you at least need a dining room if you. Have <laughs> I do have a dining room. If you open the living room when you walk in. Be careful of the table at the dining room table. <laughs> the, the door. So when I walk into your place, you open the door. You open the door, I just don't stumble over the dining room table. The dining room table is right, right there. there. And that's where the couch is, too. No, no, then then it, then it widens a little bit, and then you have the couch, and that's the living room, and, and the TV practically hit the couch. Right. So. Now, is the couch a fold-out couch? It actually is, but you can never fold it out. There's, <laughs> room. There's no room. And you sleep on that couch. Pretty much every night. No, I sleep in Greta's room except the two nights that Annie sleeps over. Then I go and sleep on the couch because I snore too loud. So how do you plan on making a baby? You never in your wife's Jeez. bed. I know. And where does your wife sleep? In the in behind the curtain she with has the, the baby. In the bedroom with the baby. Yeah. She sleeps behind the the curtain. Yeah, she sleeps behind the curtain with the bassinet with the baby in it, and then there's my computer and my desk set up. <laughs> Have the people in this apartment building seen what's going on? How in do you live apartment? like that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Have you and been he there? Was no, but, but Jackie, Jackie, was there. Jackie, Jackie, you were there. Yeah, it's, it's rather small. And don't forget the 32-inch television. He was too television. sophisticated for Bayville. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in Bayville, by the way. In fact, I've had my big party. Hope you come to. Oh, okay. God. All right, we're going to take a break. i got to take Might a break. Might as well call that Oyster Fest. And we'll be back.